Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mr. Champlin here. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying Unit 4 Exponential Functions. So today we're going to move on and look at how to transform them. Alright, so we're going to transform them from a parent function. So looking at my first, my parent function right here, I have f of x equals 2 to the power x. And notice that this graph here is the function or this table I'm saying is the function f of x and this graph here is the function. Okay, so this is the function f of x equals 2 to the power x. Um, so transformations is when we move the function, right? So you guys are currently used to looking at how a function looks where you have f of parentheses x minus 5 and then outside the parentheses plus 3. And if you remember, inside parentheses lies and outside parentheses goes up and down. Now, it's the same for exponential functions. However, instead of inside parentheses, we are going to look at inside the exponent. All right. So instead of inside the parentheses, it's going to be inside the exponent. And again, that lies. And again, this is going to be left and right. All right, so left and right. Whereas the constant outside of the exponent is going to also be up and down. But that, when it's positive, it goes up, and when it's negative, it goes down. All right, so let's look at that as an example, okay? Let's look at some examples here. So number one says write the equation of each function below a transformation of the function f of x equals 2 of x. So we're going from g of x. And what I like to do is I like to pick key points. So it looks like right here, 0, 1 looks like a good point. Sorry. And that looks like it goes down 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. 4 spaces. Besides that, I don't notice any other spots. We could check this spot too. So I have, it looks like 1, 4 goes down by 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces too. So I'm going to say the only transformation with g of x, so from f of x to g of x, is going from 2x. I don't think there's any right or left movement. So I'm going to say 2x minus 4 because it's going down by 4. All right, well, let's look at the h of x. Well, if we take a key spot, and this time I'm going to take 0, 1 from f of x. Sorry. I'm going to take 0, 1. And notice it goes over by three so it looks like it goes over three solid spots and that seems pretty consistent right that goes right by three there also so if it goes to the right of three that must mean it's in the exponent so it can't so it's not going up or down so you're not going to have any constants but it's in the exponent but just remember this lies so even though it's going up by a positive number it's going to be two to the power of x minus three all right, 2 to the power of x minus 3. You can also write it like this if it helps you out. You can always do 2 to the power parentheses x minus 3, okay? But make sure it's in the exponent. Now, this looks crazy. Let's look at j of x. It doesn't look like there's any motion with j of x, except it flips over the x-axis. That's right. If it flips over the x-axis, that must mean j of x is just the reflection which makes it negative 2 to the power of x which means it flips over the x-axis awesome that's what it looks like from writing it from a graph now let's put it into words from when they give us an equ equation so it says explain in words how each graph compares to the parent function f of x equals 2 to the power x so a of x is 2 to the power x plus 4 so that means that f of x moves up by 4. f of x moves up by 4. Not too bad. All right, well, what about when b of x equals 2 to the power x minus 5? All right, again, some people have seen, sometimes you'll see it as parentheses, or sometimes it will just be written as both exponents. Well, that means this is f of x. 
However, it doesn't move up or down, but it moves to the right because it lies. And I know you want to think it's negative, but because it's negative, it should go left. But no, it's in the exponent. It lies. So it moves to the right by 5. All right, and finally, let's look at c of x. And c of x has negative 2 to the power x, which simply means that f of x reflects over the x-axis. And a lot of us teachers just say it flips. All right. Pretty cool, not too bad. All right, and finally, let's look at number three, the last example. Write the equation of g of x, a transformation of f of x equals 2x, 2 to the power x, sorry, that has been moved 7 to the left and 4 down. So it moves 7 to the left and 4, I'm going to rewrite it down. So that means g of x g of x equals 7 to the left, so I'm going to do 2 to the power x, so 7 to the left. I know you want to say negative, but it's the opposite, so it's going to be plus, plus 7, so 7, or 2 to the power x plus 7, and 4 down is going to be minus 4. And that, my friends, is my answer. Hopefully you can read my sloppy handwriting, and hopefully you have a wonderful day. People, this is a great unit. Hopefully you're enjoying. Have a good one.